This revision video reviews some key quadratic graph sketching questions with a problem solving one to come second. Please do share and subscribe if you enjoy this video. I intend to update videos where possible daily as the exams approach. Now the first example looks at sketching a very simple quadratic and we're going to use the method where we find the roots to sketch the graph. Now, if we've got an x squared quadratic graph, we can attempt to factorise. And to factorise, what we need are two numbers which multiply to make the constant and basically add to make the middle number here. Now the factors of 15 are 1 and 15, and 3 and 5, and 3 and 5 have got a difference of 2. So if I were to put x plus 5 and x minus 3, that plus 5 take away 3 is positive 2, and 5 times by minus 3 is minus 15. So these are called the factors. And if we know the factors, we can find what are called the roots of the graph. Now, the roots are where the graph hits, the x-axis. And if we try to solve where this equation equals zero, then to make this zero, these two brackets must both equal zero. Now, to make them zero, if x is minus 5, then minus 5 plus 5 equals zero. So x equals minus 5 is one of the roots. Or, if x is plus 3, plus 3, take away 3, also equals 0. So x equals 3 is also one of the roots. So, if we get the factors, we can find the roots. And in simple ones, where it's just an x squared, it is just the numbers in the brackets with the sign changed. But that's not always the case, so please be careful to learn that as a Goldfast rule. That only works when it's just an x squared, a 1x squared. Now, these two values are where the graph hits the x-axis. So on a sketch, we have minus 5 and positive 3. And the x squared graph, like this, is a lovely symmetrical smiley face. Now, one misconception is to put the bottom of the graph sometimes on the actual y-axis. Now, the graph's a bit to the left, isn't it? So therefore, the bottom of the graph will be over here somewhere. So the graph will come down, and then only a sketch, come back up, like so. Now what can help, I and mean, I've been drawing these graphs for years, is to actually draw the graph first, and then mark on the roots afterwards, but it's up to you. Now, there's one other key value I can find very quickly, and it's called the y-intercept, and it's the value where the graph hits the y-axis. Now, if you know the equation, then this constant, this minus 15 in this case, is always the y-intercept. But the reason is, the y-intercept is where there's no x-coordinate, x is 0. And 0 squared is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, take away 15 is minus 15. And that therefore is the y-intercept. Now this graph is not to scale but we get a real sense of the shape of the graph with key values marked on. One other final point. This graph is symmetrical. And the bottom of the graph here is called the vertex, or the vertice. And because it's symmetrical, I can find how far right or left it is. If I, were to, if I add together two roots, 3 take away 5 is minus 2, and then halve it, which is minus 1. This tells me that minus 1 is where the line passes through. And this is called the line of symmetry. So my line of symmetry is at x equals minus 1. And that can also be asked sometimes to find. OK, so we have used the equation to find some key values called the roots, map them on, and then sketched a symmetrical graph which passed through minus 15 on the y-axis. Now sometimes you're asked to find the equation 
given the graph. And we can use these ideas in reverse. Now, the problem is we don't know what this other root is. If I knew the roots, I can find the factors, which I can expand to give the equation, which tells me what A and B are. However, if you look carefully, the two roots, 3 times minus 15, multiply to give the y-intercept. So these two roots must multiply to give the y-intercept in this case. And what number times minus 6 is minus 18? Well, it's 3, because 3 times minus 6 is minus 18. So the roots are at 3 and minus 6. So, if I know the roots for a simple quadratic, I can therefore write down the factors. If 3 is a root, then x minus 3 is a factor. If minus 6 is a root, then x plus 6 is a factor. So this is my equation. Then, to find it in this form, and what is a and what is b, I can expand x squared minus 3x plus 6x goes to positive 3x, and minus 3 times 6 is minus 18. So in this case, that's the equation, a is positive 3, b equals minus 18. One quick observation. I know we put positive signs in the actual expression or equation, but the actual signs can be positive or negative. So, the example reviewed two key quadratic problem solving questions. If you enjoyed, please do share and subscribe, and I'll try to release videos daily, so keep on checking back to see what else I've produced. Okay, thank you very much.